The whole aging process for me has been um, flawless. I, you know, the only thing that I can really say about the lifestyle is that it has given me life. In December 7th, I'll be 72, and I've got this plan that I am going to do one of the most beautiful photo shoots for the 72nd birthday. I'm showing people my age how the human body will continue to respond if you practice self-love and self-care. When I met my husband, he gave me two books, Fit for Life by Harvey and Marilyn Diamond and The Mucusless Diet Healing System by Professor Arnold Errett. I read those books and they changed my life and they certainly changed my perspective on food. I was on the standard American diet. I was addicted to refined sugar, high fructose corn syrup. I had horrible skin, eczema, asthma, and I just had a rough time digesting food. I made the loudest belches of anybody on the planet. I just, I just felt no, my mother put sugar in everything, but I don't miss any of that now. I felt so miserable after I ingested all of those things. Knowledge is power. And learning how to nourish yourself and provide um, food for yourself is massively important. I believe in life. And I don't need to take life to nourish myself. I don't have to do that. We're all in this together. Life is life. And we're one with each other. Ron and I um, were getting ready to open our restaurant. I can remember somebody very close to me saying, are you sure you want to put a vegan restaurant in Inglewood? And our thought was, we live in South Central. I don't live in Beverly Hills. Or It was the most important thing that I think we did because we brought this way of living to the community. And it was good food, organic food, clean food, delicious food. So it's an opportunity to share good, healthy, wholesome food um, and educate at the same time. That's, for me, that's what we're here for. We walk this walk and we share to make everybody else's experience better and to also take care of the home, the planet. And I think too many times we, act, we take for granted our home and we should not, you know.